The defamation trial that happened between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is still going on right now despite the verdict coming in months ago. How is that possible? Simple. The appeal process is still going on. Amber Heard is trying to appeal the verdict in all of its many forms to back out of the money sum she owes to Johnny Depp and to get another trial going because of the erroneous verdict. The appeal process has been long and tiresome in many people's minds, but it has been revealing some interesting stuff lately, including how Amber Heard's team is trying to get out of what the verdict ruled. We'll break it down for you. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number four, the new statement. As you sit here with me now, has it sunk in? How could it? It's surreal and difficult in part, yes. Um, this has been a long time coming. So what happened in the appeal recently? Well, documents that were filed by Amber Heard's team seem to indicate how they're trying to say that while quote AB was proven by Johnny Depp in regards to Amber Heard hurting him and not the other way around, it wasn't proven to be malicious. Or as one Twitter user put it, today is the day Amber Heard's team all but admits Depp proved AB did not occur, but didn't reach the standard of proving whether or not Amber was suffering delusions or maliciously falsely accusing, and so the one should be disregarded. Lord, this appeal. The document claims that Depp had to have affirmative evidence that showed Amber Heard didn't believe he beat her or entertained serious doubts that he hadn't done so. That is confusing on a wide variety of levels and we don't fully understand all of it ourselves, but there it is. Apparently, she's trying to say that even if he did prove AB, he can't prove that there was malice from her accusations, which is odd because there was plenty of malice when she was on the stand testifying against him. Remember, she said that she wanted this court case to be over with so she could get on with her life, and yet she's fighting tooth and nail to get the trial reset started. Go figure. The more she struggles, the more people feel that she's getting more and more desperate and that Depp will further be exonerated about everything. Some people are speaking up on this, in fact. Number 3. Helena Botham Carter Johnny Depp has done a lot of movies over the years, but you'll find that in a lot of them there's one actress he clearly loves to work with. Helena Botham Carter. In a new interview with the Sunday Times Magazine, the actress says she believes Johnny Depp, who she starred alongside in numerous films, has been completely vindicated following his six-week defamation trial against Amber Heard earlier this year. I think he's fine now. Botham Carter, who spoke to the publication after being named the first female president of the London Library, said, quote, totally fine. Botham Carter's comments come months after a Virginia jury found that Heard defamed Depp, age 59, in a 2018 Washington Post op-ed about DV. Though she didn't name her ex-husband in the article, Depp was awarded more than $10 million in damages, and Heard won one of her defamation counterclaims and was awarded $2 million. They are both appealing the verdicts, but for entirely different reasons. Depp had previously lost a libel case against the Sun newspaper after being described as a wife by the publication in 2018, which a judge ruled was substantially true in a written statement delivered through the UK Ministry of Justice. During her discussion with the Sunday Times, Bonham Carter added that she believes Heard, quote, got on that pendulum when she was asked if Depp's recent case was the pendulum of the hashtag MeToo movement swinging back. That's the problem with these things, that people will jump on the bandwagon because it's the trend and to be the poster girl for it, Bonham Carter said. That was actually one of the cruxes of the argument by Johnny Depp's team. Do you you stand by your testimony and your accusations against Johnny Depp about abuse. Of course, to my dying day, we'll stand by every word of my testimony. Amber Heard stoked the flames of accusation during the rise of the hashtag MeToo movement so that she could be seen as a sympathetic figure and bury Depp. That in turn caused the major movie producers to back out on Depp and relieve him of his roles that cost him millions of dollars. To be clear, the hashtag MeToo movement was a very important movement in Hollywood and big changes were made as a result of that. But as with all movements that change the world, some people try to use them for their own means and ends and not for the benefit of the greater good. Amber Heard is now seen as someone who set back the movement because of the apparent lie she gave about Johnny Depp. But that's not her only problem, because she's now not only trying to appeal everything, she's trying to pay off everything she's accrued during this trial-filled period. 
Number two, the insurance issue. Amber Heard says her million dollar insurance policy does in fact have to cover her in the Johnny Depp trial and verdict, and she's asking a judge to confirm it. The actress countersued New York Marine and General Insurance Co. after they first asked the judge to let him off the hook for a million dollar liability policy she'd taken out to protect her from defamation claims. Their argument was based on the fact that the jury found Amber's committed willful misconduct in her defamation of Johnny, and under California law, they say that gives them an out in having to fulfill the policy. In other words, they believe they're not responsible. In new court docs obtained by TMZ, Amber argues the exact opposite, namely that New York Marine promised to pay her defense costs and judgments against her up to a million dollars no matter what. That's the unconditional deal she claims they struck with her, and she says they haven't lived up to their end of the bargain. Heard says that in trying to wipe their hands clean, they're turning their back on that agreement, including breach of contract, among other claims. She's met them on the field of legal battle and asked the judge to require the insurer to pony up. Now objectively, if this is the case, if the company said they would pay for the bill up to one million no matter the conditions, then they absolutely should pay up. They made a promise to Amber Heard and it's their duty to fulfill it. That being said, this issue feels like one that should have come up earlier in the trial, and yet it somehow didn't? We mean this in how a statement like this and an agreement that was posed by Amber would have been something that would be put forward before it ever got to trial, and thus could get the case dismissed with ease if proven. So why didn't she bring this up before? Why are we only hearing about this agreement now? And if they had this in their pocket, why did they use another tactic to try and get out of the situation previously? That tactic being that she has claimed that she was stateless, and how she didn't own any properties in the US when the suit was filed against her. And by all accounts, she didn't live in the US, thus they couldn't sue her. Yup, she tried to say that because she was homeless, that they couldn't file a claim against her. And saw just a courtroom packed full of Captain Jack Sparrow fans who were vocal, energized. Can you put into words how that felt? This was the most humiliating and horrible thing I've ever been through. That's one way to get out of paying a bill, that's for sure. It clearly didn't hold up well because of how she's trying this new tactic, and that in turn shows just how desperate she's getting that she's bringing up deals that were never mentioned before. It doesn't paint the prettiest of pictures, as you might imagine. Number 1. Walls closing in? So where does all of this leave Amber Heard right now? Well, the more you hear from her, the more that things are looking grimmer and grimmer. Ever since the defamation trial ended, she's been ranting to anyone who will listen and getting her statements debunked as a result. Then she's selling basically everything she owns so she can afford the appeal that she wants to do and not have to pay Johnny Depp. She's trying to get her insurance company to pay part of her bill and more, and she wasn't lying about selling all her homes. She did that and now has a place over in Europe where she resides. All in all, it's not looking good for her, and unless something changes, her situation will not get better. And there you have it everyone, a look at what Amber Heard's team is saying about the verdict and whether we can take any of it at face value. Do you think that Heard's team is scraping the bottom of the barrel to try and get out of their predicament? Will the court take this notion seriously, or will it deny it? Let us know what you think in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.